Hey guys, what's going on? It is Sunday morning. I don't know when this will post. Uh, actually, probably won't post this till after that box break that I got. So you might see this in like four or five days. About to go feed Griffey. It's uh, shoot, I can't see it. It's just before six a.m. So he's about to wake up. I'm gonna have to wake him up here in a little bit if he doesn't wake up on his own. So it's good he's sleeping through the night for the most part if he's not sick. But uh. Got two pieces of mail uh, yesterday. So one is a card that I bought from uh, Bradley up in Waco. And the other one came in a body bag, which I can't really can't show. I don't want to show stuff. There's a side of it. You can see where it's torn. Uh, so anyway, the date on this one out of Hewitt, Texas, which I know he lives in Waco, but you see it's December 13th. Should be on there. So December 13th versus this one, which I don't even know if I can see the date on it. I, I don't want to show you the address. This is from 9 and 19th, so September 19th. And it's from a familiar name, David Soffin. So obviously one of our collecting brothers here on uh, YouTube. Uh, I don't have a clue what David sent me because I'm sure back in September, uh, we might have talked about something. Maybe this was a trade. I hope it wasn't a trade and I didn't send something. I have no idea. I genuinely don't have a clue what David sent. So uh, if it's a trade, I'll pay up right away. If it's something I bought, I'm glad I finally got it because it's something's in there. So uh, I think it's in there. And uh, David, hopefully you don't think I'm an asshole and didn't tell you thanks or whatever. Or like let you know that I got it. Because I didn't get it. It's mid-December right now. It's almost Christmas. So. Let me show you Bradley's first, because I know I just purchased from him, and I think he threw in some extras, so that should be a good place to start it. And showing off that handwriting again, Bradley. <laughs> it actually makes me jealous. I know I've said that in at least three of my videos. Um, genuinely jealous of your handwriting. There used to be, uh, when I when I was in school and stuff, I was, you know, I think a lot of times, like, athletes get a bad rap for being dummies or whatever, but I was a near straight-A student. So, in high school, college, both. I actually did better in college than I did in high school. So, uh, I liked going to class. I liked studying. I liked to learn new stuff. So, um, academically, I liked it. Uh, but way back to elementary school, handwriting used to be a class, which I don't even think it's a class now. I think they just have typing, which we didn't have till uh, middle school, high school, something like that. Uh, whenever that transition was, but handwriting was the one class I did terrible in. And I remember my teacher just, my, she was like, well, why don't you just write better? I was like, I can't. If it was that simple, I would do it. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, yeah, it just didn't work out for me. So it is what it is. I have terrible, terrible handwriting. Um, but there was a bunch of attorneys on my mom's side of the family. Uh, dad's side was from a farming family. So a complete different ends of the world. Giving you guys a lot of background because I'm untaping the stuff right now, so there's a reason to this. I'm just trying to entertain you in some <laughs> small way while we wait. Um, yeah, so I blame the attorneys, although they have nothing to do with it. I almost became an attorney. I unregistered or uh, withdrew my application from uh, law school when I moved with my wife the first time, so gave up that career path. I didn't want to be a practicing attorney. I think I'd be good at it, but... I was going to be a sports agent, so I wanted to be a sports agent with a law degree because that's more impressive. Um, I could have just done it anyway, but not what I wanted to do. I knew exactly where I wanted to go, but I uh, met my wife and gave it up. I figured I'll choose a family over a career, and now I've been with her for, shit, about 10 years. So I think I made the right choice. I just have less money, but whatever. So here's the... Uh, Let's see that handwriting since I was just talking about it. Chad, hopefully you don't have to wait too long for this. Also for Minerva and Topps customer service, I hope the auto is not surprised. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Bradley. Griffey Hoarder 24, and that's two and then word four. If you guys want to follow him, which I think he would appreciate, and I would appreciate because he, uh, he has some nasty stuff. Mostly Griffey's is what you'll see in his videos, uh, but high-end and mixed and... Uh, usually has a whole bunch per video. I'm almost five minutes. God. Okay, so there's what I bought off him. The tribute autograph. Griffey's starting to cry, so I need to... Uh, let me cut this, and I'm going to come right back. But tribute autograph. I have the Ageless Accolades. Um, 
which is one of the ones from that set, but not this exact one. So I'm going to come right back, take care of my son first, priority in life. I'll be right back. All right. And just like that, the sun came up and through magic, I'm back right away. So uh, wifey's got the kid now. Where was I? Okay. So I showed you that first redemption, the uh, tribute. And then here's extra junk. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, he, uh, I don't know if he gets it from group breaks or does boxes or whatever, um, but he gets like extra random stuff, so he threw it my way. There's a Matt Harvey, clearly authentic. And it's green, which we know that I love green. Great color from uh, Strata. I still have uh, two Griffies I'm waiting on from Strata as well, so that'd be cool. Matt Harvey's a good pitcher. Obviously, I like pitchers, so. Oh, Springer. That's cool. George. Speaking of George, you can see the back. There's a George behind this as well. So, it's cool. I like Springer. He's cool. Uh, I got a feeling he might not last. Um, maybe they'll trade him. I don't know why. It just seems like some of the deals they've potentially put together unofficially uh, seem to involve shipping him out. So, uh, he's cool though, and that's some sort of refractor, or whatever. But that's a rookie, so I'll definitely keep that. That's cool. And then, like I said, with George, old pops there, Ken Senior. And that is an incredible set. I've only seen uh, two full sets. Well, I was told they're full sets. I didn't check it, but uh, both were at shows. I think it was two different people. And I just saw the same set twice, but I know it was packaged different, or at least in different holders. So I think it's two different people completed the. Like the master set of that, there's also like car parallels, like golds out of like 100 or whatever from everybody. Uh, juniors in there, um, Ernie Banks, Yogi Berra, you know, everybody that's somebody was pretty much in that set if they were alive back then at that time. So that Century Legends set was absolutely incredible, especially the autograph set. So thank you very much, Bradley. And uh, hopefully we can meet up soon. We almost met up here um, about a week ago, but. Babies get sick. I know yours had an ear infection, so hopefully uh, Stanton is doing well now. So we can all relate, you know. Okay, packing slip. I don't know. Did I buy something? Why would I be packing slip? Anyway, like I said, it's from David Sotham. There it is. Chad uh, said in my ID. I think he skipped a word there. Or maybe it's May. Ah, yeah. Well, look, you're in luck. It uh, it took even longer than you expected. So he said in May that he'd send this to me. He put it off and then he forgot about it. Sorry for the delay. So he said it in May. He shipped it in September. I'm receiving it in December. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know what it is. So cool. Uh, whatever it is, it's taped up. So. Hey, what's up, pup? Want to get on screen? It's been a while. I guess not. I just had the amount of junk. Putting some cards on eBay. Don't show your butthole in a video. Really? Have some respect. Anyway. What are you doing? It's a little bit after 7 a.m., so... She's usually fed at 6 a.m. And uh, I didn't feed her yet, so she wants her food. Here we go. Ah, I do remember this. Good Lord, David. Unwrap it. Out of 199. Open it towards you guys here. Aaron Dobson for the Marshall University PC. I know a couple of my boys on here that are also Marshall collectors will like that. What I actually like about this, it's from my Ultimate Collection, but I like, uh, I usually don't like weird edges, like die cut edges, whatever, because then when you put it in like a magnetic or whatever, like it can damage that. But I do like this design. Very clean. Points are kind of cool. So I do like that. It's on card autograph. Uh, Dobson, I, I like that it's in Marshall gear too. But he was a badass at Marshall. He did really well, um, especially his final year. So I really like that. 
Uh, thank you once again, David. He was on the Patriots for three years, maybe. Does that sound right? Three seasons. And then uh, he got released this year. So he is not a star in the NFL. I think somebody else signed him. I don't even know if he's still on their team, but he rarely started. Uh, he did play some. He had a touchdown. His first ever reception was a touchdown from Tom Brady. So he's got that going for him. Um, but I wish he was still in the league as far as like being relevant. So that'd be cool. Uh, but it's not. Anyway, this video is plenty long enough for a couple packages. Thank you. Once again, guys, uh, Bradley, David, I appreciate it. Take care.